the more you know, the wiser you become, and the more confident you will be, and the easier you will answer any question. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Mamie, for accepting our invitation in uh, uh, today's. And actually, we have like we, we we feel very nervous when we send out the invitations because it's kind of close to the date, and we are afraid that uh, you might be meeting on this day. But anyway, thank you for your acceptance, acceptance and bring and uh, share this with us. So, uh, for benefit, I would like to speak in this session in Khmer for most people to, uh, to the parents and me. And for the information of the we also have a little recording for a wider release on our production of this book. And just, uh, just now, we just know, we will not the cool and all, and all of the candidates and the event to be made, we will end up to the day. Just a little more, actually, that in the day, we give some kind of work candidates and the event to pull you to turn on pay by the one. Okay. Uh, I think you have been speaking in English, so I might be as well speaking in English. Okay. <laughs> uh, some of you have been graduating from here. And uh, you know that uh, for the past 17 years, uh, we have been very active in uh, public speaking and debate. We also have uh, a club and association here, and a person that's quite influential in this area. Previously in our school, and you can see that's Mr. Longley there. Yes. <laughs> and uh, along with Mr. Longley, I myself uh, is the first lifetime advisor for JCI. For some the new generation might not know, I'm the first lifetime advisor. And for some reason, uh, it was quiet by for some time, but I am still uh, legally <laughs> a lifetime advisor. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and also uh, we have our students join the debate every year, and we, we won every year, and the last time, uh, we won national and then regional in Japan and then second place, I believe, in German uh, for the uh, international. Yeah, so we won every year to the point that JCI very tired of us. They stopped inviting us. <laughs> and uh, that's under the management of Mr. Kyle Longley. So if you want to learn uh, public speaking and uh, uh, debate, uh, find uh, no further further than right in front of your eye. He's uh, quite influential and uh, very experienced and uh, very well knowledge about all of these things. And I believe that all my colleagues who have been here previously, uh, previously uh, uh, who've been working here, they are quite uh, an excellent in this field. So uh, going back to the question, uh, is it relevant still? It's forever and will be forever relevant. Public speaking, debating, it's a skill for a lifetime, skill for your future. It's a challenge uh, field that if you want to survive, you want to uh, uh, up in the forefront, you want to compete, you want to have a challenging life, and you want to a life that at the forefront and be known, let known, and uh, be aware of and won, uh, you have to be able to speak in public and speak it confidently and with uh, uh, full of knowledge and uh, broad knowledge. Uh, being a, a public speaker is not about styles so much, and not about uh, uh, how well you speak so much. It's about the content, about the substance. It's about believable. It's about uh, convincing. It's about honesty. It's about real. It's about justifiable. Is, is it 
statistically uh, acceptable. And also, uh, is it something that is uh, pure? Uh, is it from the bottom of your heart? Those are public speaking. Sometimes you don't have to be so perfect, but you speak from the bottom of your heart. You have some substance there that are concrete and so firm. You might shake in your hand, you might look so pale, you might be so nervous, but you project your voice, you, you, you speak volume with clarity, with char uh, charisma. All those things, that's what define public speaker. And as to a debate, you have to have a challenge that reasonable, challenge that legitimate, challenge that uh, uh, acceptable and universal uh, worldwide uh, that are implementable, something that are usable and uh, adequately accepted that are debate. So public speaking and debate are so relevant in every uh, time in our life and even in the future. And after COVID, you guys are into uh, online, uh, hybrid, and so on. Uh, don't fool yourself. Everything should be going to be human face to face. And online usually uh, for other superficial work. And you cannot escape from face to face and in class, classroom, teaching, working. Uh, only a certain percentage of field that utilize online only a certain percentage of teaching that you like online, beside that, it is unavoidable that human interaction will play a major role. So therefore, keep in touch and uh, stay in touch, be present. And online, usually you like for a high level interacting and also for experienced professional and working. If you are confused um, online for high school, for just uh, first year college and so on, and for natural stuff, for science and technology, you fool yourself. There's no such thing. Online is for some arts, fun arts, liberal classes, and humanity. Beside that, everything has to be in class, interaction, and person to person. So therefore, uh, please, uh, don't be confused and don't be uh, overwhelmed with the online thing because that's not what you're going to be using it. So the relevance of life, the essence of life is still be human contact. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you so much, Jerko, for sharing with us very insightful of the, uh, the importance of in-person public speaking arts because yeah, I believe that some students might not aware of it when they go to online too long. So, and can, today I can believe we have bring it back in 2022 last year because with the COVID we did it with a few years too. So, if you're looking for increase your public speaking in ways good, then yeah, that's your choice. And you want to challenge yourself on the JCI competition next year. And next, let's move on to the next question that I think uh, I myself and a lot of our candidates have all oh, want oh, to know it too. I have received a question from candidate of many friends. Uh, uh, Dr. Mayday, you asked the uh, several businessmen, the ed educators and CEO of your company, you will have a lot of chances every year or every month or every day to speak in public. So, so could you share with us a bit a few tips on how could we uh, develop or boost our self confidence in the public? Knowledge. The more you know, the more confident you will become. So learn more about different things. Uh, don't focus, uh, don't zone in into the field you learn, but be more broad. And the broader you become, uh, the, the broader you, you, be, uh, you, you become, the, the, more, uh, uh, the better you will be in uh, twist and turn and uh, flip-flopping your tongue according to the question, according to the knowledge of uh, inquiry, according to the speech that asked for, according to the question that uh, relate to you. So basically, uh, learn, learn geography, learn history, learn humanity, science, psychology, development, learn everything you put, head, you put your hand on. The more you know, 
the more you become wiser, the, the wiser you become and the, the, the more confident you will be and the easier you will answer any question. And uh, in Cambodia, we don't have soft skill. We learn uh, basically more hard skill. And soft skill usually are not taught in class. It is innate learning by exposures to different environment, social setting, uh, and also up raising by the, how your family bring you up and the event that you join, the uh, club that you uh, uh, also uh, join, the association that you uh, uh, involve. Basically, the daily activity uh, surrounding the environment that you are influenced by, those are the soft skills, including some of the social and uh, liberal fine art courses that help enhance those skills. So the soft skill uh, plus the, those uh, liberal human, humanity and fine arts uh, causes, those are the field uh, causes that you need to know to uh, liberate you from fear and also uh, encourage you more and uh, boost your uh, public speaking skill. So basically it's a twist of tongue and how well you twist is how well you practice and how much you know about topics. Basically that's all. And uh, everyone uh, feel nervous, everyone scared. Just take a deep breath and in and out. Put your head down and then absorb, uh, you know, uh, fresh and uh, oxygen and uh, get enough sleep, uh, drink enough juice, fresh juice, and also exercise. And sometimes when you do all of that, you still get nervous and you get panic and stay fright. Uh, don't worry, that is just another disease that a lot of Cambodian and Asian people have. And uh, you can come see a doctor, you can come see me. There's a medication for treatment to help you more relax on stage. You can prepare. And those who do uh, a national, international debate, come to me. Uh, you, you don't have to struggle and be fearful. They call stay fright, they call social anxiety disorder, they call phobia. And there's a medication that I can prescribe to give you, uh, uh, you know, take it and you can uh, take it and then feel better as time go by, you tape it down, eventually you can stop it. Uh, it is not normal to have this uh, frightened fear and panic. It's a disease and Asians tend to have more of that. And you have kids who are constantly doing poor in academic and so scared and, and cry and get nervous on stage. Don't let it continue. And that is not good academically. They will perform bad and will destroy him or her. Bring to the doctor. That is a disease we call mental health illness. We can cure them, we can treat them. And our Cambodian doctors are very hideous. Shame on them, you know. They're so hideous, they're so greedy, they don't want to tell you. It is a disease, it's just a mental illness. It is curable, treatable. So let you know from now on, okay? Thank you so much. Dr. You don't have to practice like hell, like crazy, no need. You try a few times and you don't get improved, then there's medication to treat you. And it's not drug, it's not addictive. And it's not that you have mental illness. It's just a condition that a lot of people have. So there's a medication to enhance you and getting you to a better stage and learn better, that's all.